How y'all doing? Yes, yes. Give it up for the comedians. Yes, yes. I really feel at home here. It makes me feel like I'm at home. I'm half black and I'm half white. I'm a product of what y'all about to do tonight. See how tight y'all asses are. Here we go. My mother, true story, my mother's white, German, and she was a burlesque dancer. True story. All right, fuck it. For black people, she was a stripper. I know what y'all looking at. Fuck it, nigga. She didn't have no tattoos, but you know. My father was black and in the service. They used to wonder what they had in common. And one thing they had in common, they used to love to travel. My parents loved to travel. My mother would be out of town for weeks at a time, sometimes by herself. My father would be out of town. One particular time, I'm seven years old. My father's out of town. I wake up. I want some cereal, had my little pajamas on. I went to the kitchen to get my cereal, to get a box of cereal, but it was closed, so I had to go to my mother's bedroom, my parents' bedroom, to ask her to open a new box of cereal. So I go to the bedroom, I go to push the bedroom door open, and like I push it, something behind was heavy. Behind it was heavy. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, I'm only seven years old trying to open the door. Like, every inch the door would go across the carpet, you know. So I was like, what the hell? I opened the door about a foot. Stuck my little seven-year-old head in the, in the room. I saw my parents, they had a big old king-size bed with white fluffy pillows and big old comforters. I saw my mother's white feet sticking out the end of the bed. The right next to her, I saw my father's black feet sticking out the end of the bed. I got excited, didn't know my father was home. So I yelled, Daddy's home! And some nigga head popped up that wasn't Daddy. Yeah, my mother said, get the room, get the room, get the room, get out the room, get the room. I got in the hallway, I'm scared, I'm only seven years old. I'm like, oh, I love my daddy, that's not my daddy, I love my daddy. My mother comes out a minute later fixing her hair and her robe. She said, listen here, you did not see what you think you saw. Do you understand me? I said, yes, ma'am. But I'm going to tell you what I will see under the Christmas tree this year, bitch. A new football, a Nintendo, a goddamn 10-speed bike, bitch. My vision might be blurry right now, but it's going to be 2020 Christmas morning. You best believe that, mama. Six months later, my father takes me for a drive outside of town, just me and him outside of town. We go to a house I've never been to before. He knocks on the door. Some white lady answers the door, and he hugs her and shouts, I said, Daddy, who is that? He said, Son, you did not see what you own. Nigga, I know the routine. <laughs> Between my mother and my father, my parents look, I mean, my, my bedroom looked like uh, Toys R Us and shit. <laughs> my friends would come over and say, Man, you are spoiled. I was like, No, we got some hoes in this house. Goddamn it, hoes in this goddamn house. Everybody's fucking everybody in there. I don't give a fuck. Snitches don't get toys, nigga. 